June. June Wolf. Is that right? <laughs> All right, Miss Wolf. Uh, would you tell us where you're from? I'm from Houston, Texas. From Houston, Texas. Well, it's nice to have somebody come so far, and it's kind of unkind of me to ask you to take another short trip. But will you go over and see the panel members, please? Shake hands, Miss Wolf. I like to shake hands with people in Houston. Hi. I like to shake hands with people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Wolf, will you come over here now, please, and sit down? I think um, the panel has had a chance to know you very briefly, see your handwriting, hear your voice, so we'll give them their usual one free guess on this basis, and we always begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she dances with doves. Dances with doves. Mr. Allen. I think Dorothy better watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that uh, she is a rodeo queen. Miss Francis. I, she certainly is very dramatic looking. I think she's a sorcerer's apprentice. <laughs> Mr. Sir. I think she works for a Vita Culp hobby down in Houston. No, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mrs. Wolf. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. <laughs> The panel has got to work hard. Well, I think you know what happens. You're uh, to give them no answers when you find the opportunity. When you've given them ten no answers, you've won the game. All right, Mrs. Wolf is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Steve Allen. Do you deal in a service of some kind? Yes, Miss Wolf. Uh, could you conceivably perform the service for or to me? <laughs> Does what you do bring you into direct contact with the people for whom you do it? Yes. Could you affect them uh, personally in any way, like their, their well-being or their appearance? Or <laughs> in any remote way, even? Yes. Uh, let me see. Are the people... Could, could you actually affect... Well, I won't repeat that. Uh, are the people for whom you pr perform your services ever in other than a standing position? For example, could they be seated or reclining or... Yes. Uh, might what you do cause any slight or great degree of uh, discomfort or pain? Yes. Any... Yes, there are some who might feel discomfort as a result. <laughs> uh, and you do come into physical contact with it. We've already established that. Yes. Well, last week we had a masseuse. I, we can rule that out, I suppose, because we had one last week. Am I correct in assuming that? Yes. Uh, do you, you nevertheless work directly with the body? You might say that Mrs. Wolf works directly with the body, yes. Um, did you ever perform your services in the area of the mouth? Yes. <laughs> Might I go to you, for example, if I wanted to have some teeth removed? <laughs> now, actually, I think to be perfectly fair to Mrs. Wolf, we'd have to give you a no on that, Steve. I can't see you going to Mrs. Wolf to have your teeth removed. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Trent. Well, Mrs. Wolf, do I assume that in your particular job, you do have to touch the other person in some way? Yes. And uh, the other person uh, uh, does not benefit from it. It makes the other person uh, feel unhappy, or they could be discouraged or something from what you do. Yes. Uh, do you handle any more than one person at a time? Yes. On some occasions. Yes. Uh, do you have anything to... Do you teach anything? Do people learn from you? Yes, they do. Oh, you say... <laughs> you saved yourself a no, then. Yes, you go ahead, Miss Francis. They would do you, learn from you. Would us. you be dressed any differently from the way you are now? Yes. Uh, would you wear a uniform of any kind? Yes. Is it a uniform that would be easily recognizable? If I saw you in it in the street, I'd know what you did. <laughs> Well, I would say this. Let me have a small conference, if I may. It's a big conference. I like it. He's not leaving her looking discouraged. <laughs> <laughs> what goes on at 11? Well, I must say, it's not... <laughs> uh, I think 
that uh, probably we are being a little bit unfair to you, Miss Arlene, but in the way the question was specifically asked, we'll have to give you a no. That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Yeah. Sir. Mrs. Wolf, is there any athletic prowess connected with the work that you do? Yes. Would it be some kind of uh, wrestling or pugilistic endeavor that you teach or, or indulge yes. in? Is, did I guess right the first time? Is it something to do with wrestling or some form of wrestling? Yes. Yes. So? Uh, what she teaches, she's a rest, lady she's wrestler. A lady wrestler. <laughs> To give Steve Allen some idea of what kind of a buzzsaw he was trying to walk into, Mrs. June Wolf is really June Byers, who is the world champion lady wrestler. Hold on to your feet. Thank you very much. Glad to have you with us.